Hi everyone, welcome to tutorial 10 of the introductory Python for image processing tutorial series. So far, I hope you have learned how to install Python on your system using Anaconda. I covered this in one of my previous tutorials, which is uh, uh, very necessary because now we are going to use Spider IDE to write our first lines of code. So let's uh, jump into the Spider IDE. It's part of your Anaconda, by the way. You can just go into your Anaconda 3 folder, shortcuts folder over there, and then just open up Spider, which should open this uh, integrated development environment. And again, just a quick recap, left-hand side is where we type a whole bunch of code to create a text file that can be executed by Python. On the right hand side is where you can actually type little snippets of code and instantaneously see the output. Now, if you run the code on the left hand side, the output also shows up in the Python console, which is the right hand side. On the top, you probably are seeing help. So go ahead and switch it to variable explorer because this is where all your variables will show up. We'll see that uh, pretty soon. Okay, so now let's actually write our first few lines of code. Normally, whenever you start writing your uh, learning a new coding language, it's customary to write uh, or print hello world, which we will do. But even more important than print or anything is com uh, commenting your code. When I say commenting, that means uh, writing your comments for why you wrote a snippet of code. So here, uh, if you put three quotations, anything you write between these three is commented, meaning it's not executed when you execute the code. So let's go ahead and start with this, okay? This is my first uh, program. So now that is not included as part of the code. The other way to comment uh, single lines of code is just by type hash and then type anything you want here. Let's just say, here goes my first line, okay? This is another way of commenting the code. Now let's actually print hello world, okay? Print. And print means show it on the screen, okay? Now, anything in between the quotations, okay, is text. If I want to print text, you need either single quotation or double, okay? So you can either use uh, these single quotations or you can just use double quotations, okay? It's up to you. Now, let's actually, uh, it's, uh, I think, a good habit to actually stick with one so you know exactly what's happening. Uh, try not to mix things up. So let's actually say, hello world, okay? Now let's run our first program. Hit this run file or F5, okay? Click right there, there you go, hello world. We got it, yeah? So the text, again, we said it should be in between these quotations, but you can, for example, assign variables. Let's say I want my A equals to two. Now you can actually say print A. I do not need the quotations. If you put quotations, let's actually go ahead and do both. So now I'm printing, okay, I selected only these two lines because I don't want to execute the top part. So I'm going to select, click this button, run selection, okay? Now you see how it printed two? over there. Now, if I just put quotations for this, uh, okay, and now if I print this, you know what it's going to print. It's going to print A because it's reading this as a string. It's Okay, so there you go. So that is uh, our first lines of code. Now let's do a bit more. Now, if you look at A equals to two, let's actually define B equals to, let's say 10. I'm gonna just put a dot next to it. 10 point, okay? There is a reason why I'm doing that. Let's delete the hello world part for now, okay? So we can execute this. Now, if you look at this top variable explorer, here it's going to say what the data type of each of the variables are. So my A is an integer of size one, it's only one number with a value of two. My B is a floating point number of size one with a value of 10.0. So you probably see the difference here. Integers are what? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, or minus two, minus three, you know, uh, and so on. Now any decimal is uh, by default a floating point number, okay? So that's how, and you multiply any floating point number, for example, my C equals to two times uh, A and D equals to two times uh, B you can imagine what these numbers are going to be, right? So when I run this code, my C should still be an integer because 
I'm multiplying it with an integer and my D is a floating point number of value 20. And uh, if you want to convert this C into an integer, the easiest way is two point and multiply by A, okay? So I just did two points. So now if I run this, now my uh, C also became a float. So if one number is a floating point and you're doing this math, then this result is going to be a floating point because it needs that much memory to hold this entire thing. So it's in the back end, it's, it has to do with the memory, memory handling. Okay, so what else? Uh, we looked at multiplication. Uh, why not just division, okay? C equals to B divided by A. And let's go ahead and uh, run this line again. And our C is 5.0 right now. Okay, so divided by is just divide right there. Uh, what other operations do we have? Let's actually take this and then put two stars and two. So this is B squared. Okay, I'm squaring B. And again, if I run this line, you should see a value of 100 point right there. Okay. Uh, and uh, by the way, we can actually do the same operations over here. So all the numbers are, uh, you know, all the variables are stored over there. So if I just say my uh, D equals to A to the power of two, you should see print D, you should see the same from here, okay? So um, let us uh, do something fun now. Uh, let's actually, uh, actually, let's also look at uh, uh, some decimal numbers. Let's say my uh, C equals to 32.5. In fact, let's actually make this negative 32. So that covers both topics at the same time. So negative uh, 32.5, okay? So this is my C. Now, if I, uh, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, instead of assigning multiple variables, let's go ahead and see absolute value of C. Okay, so hopefully you know what's going to print. What is absolute of a negative number? A positive number. So that's exactly what we are going to get. If you look uh, uh, down here, it says 32.5. Uh, I mean, we are just printing it, so it says 32.5. Now you can actually round off numbers. So instead of ABS, go ahead and type round. I don't know why it's doing this, round of C. And let's run these lines again. Uh, what did I do? Oh, sorry, one parenthesis missing. So let's go ahead and run this one more time. You can see minus 32. So as you can see, rounding is nothing but you know, uh, basically, uh, as we learned in our, uh, you know, elementary school math, it rounds to the nearest integer. Okay, so now um, let's end this by typing one more. Uh, let's just look at uh, remainder. You know, okay, if you divide some number by some number, how much remainder is left, right? So let's say our, uh, uh, let's go ahead and uh, just see H, or sorry, C equals to seven percentage of two. This percentage basically means a remainder in Python. I'm just showing you the functions that are non-intuitive or the ones that are not readily uh, accessible. You know, so I mean, of course you can, when I say accessible, that means not readily uh, visible, but you, you can go to the documentation and find out more about these numbers. So let's go ahead and print uh, C and run these lines. And hopefully we'll see a value of one because that is when you divide seven by two, six, six remainder is one, right? So if we actually do a value of three, I don't know, let's put some number there, 227, 223, I don't know, 227 mod three, I have no clue, but yeah, it looks like the remainder is two. Okay, so here are a few lines for you and go ahead and practice this. Go ahead and uh, think of something else and then, you know, uh, try to try to type it and you'll probably get some error messages like I just got here and you learn by making these type of mistakes. So I hope you found this to be useful and actually let's build on this and understand a bit more in the next tutorial by talking about operators and uh, some basic math. Thank you very much.